Prepare to plummet beneath the surface of Miami politics to a dark subterranean lair the tourists never see. November 2nd, 2004, Election Day, the largest canvassing campaign Miami has ever experienced. This election. has been the most important thing in my life ever, hands down. We find an awakened youth impassioned to protect their democratic ideals. Not gonna vote? Okay, I'm sorry, have a good day. You don't vote either, man? No vote? No? Okay. Beneath palm trees and ocean breezes lies a disjointed city whose emotions boil. I'm an American. I am more American than you. We bear witness to the pain, anger, frustration, and for some, hope from three of Miami's most politically heated neighborhoods. Viva Puerto tomorrow. You're going tomorrow? Yeah. And you're voting for Kerry, right? I'm an independent. Yeah. This nigga named Bush ain't doing nothing for us right now. You know what I mean? We hungry out right here. Liberty City, a historically forgotten violence-stricken, African-American community without a political voice. Y'all don't want to vote anyway. Is he registered? Same thing, the same thing. Same thing, same information I filled out. I filled yeah, out what eight of them. What they did with them? Over 600,000 people in the state of Florida have served their time, paid their debt to society, and yet still cannot exercise their most fundamental right in a democracy. Okay, you have a great day, sorry. He didn't have his rights restored from felony. That's why he's not registered to vote. Little Haiti, a poverty-stricken Haitian immigrant community subjected to a cruel double standard. Are you registered yeah. to vote? Yeah, my husband already voted. Oh, okay, but you're not going to vote? Oh, okay. When they intercept the Cuban refugees, the Coast Guard tell the Cuban refugees, if they so wish, they are welcome to apply for political asylum. Right, we're just doing our last minute get out the vote effort. Are you registered to vote? Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. I'm not a citizen. Oh, you're not a citizen? No. Okay, well, I hope you can vote next time. So there is a double standard. Of course there is a double standard. Hi, Aaliyah, a politically corrupt, lower middle class Latin American body, saturated with Cuban American hardliners who silence the opposition. Sometimes some of those companies have been bombed. Some of those companies, their windows have been broken. Human Rights Watch, uh, an international human rights organization, singled out Miami as the place where dialogue was dangerous and where there were more incidents of intimidation and violence and terrorism against people who dissented from a certain position than any other place in the United States. Without intolerance, Miami opens up and if it opens up, the right wings lose their influence and their control. And who are the right wings allied to? This is a, it's a very neat package. Grassroots exposes the political roots of a multicultural experiment like no other. Soy republicano por valores morales. How did they get so tangled? So don't think that it ends tomorrow. That's just my message. It's never going to end. We're going to be fighting for the rest of our lives for this. From what did they germinate? I love the United States. I love George W. Bush. How deep do they go? I think this is the only voice you have. This is your opportunity to, to change something. If you don't get out and vote, you can't complain about the problem, sir. I just feel like I was psyched out. I fucking... I, I thought we were going to win. November 3rd, when I woke up, the world wasn't over.